Hello and welcome back to the EGL Astro Gaming Championship Playoffs. I am Fox, joined by Draft. We have Pickups Unite versus Resist. And Resist is the Spanish team that we saw play earlier on. And Fuse kind of gave them a bit of a beating, so we'll see if they can come back and redeem themselves here in this series. Uh, these two teams are both playing to get into the Grand Finals against Infused. And I'd say that right now, the favorite is Pickups Unite. I mean, they look, they've look they looked strong in every single hard point they've played, aside from the last series where there were apparently connectivity issues. Uh, I'm looking to see Cold Gate go huge again like he has been what are your predictions here draft mm -hmm. well I, I have to agree with you right there as well you know pickups unite probably you know probably going to look more dominant as well in this game um but i have to also say as well you know because pickups unite have you know been playing games and stuff like that i'm not entirely sure what rises have been doing maybe the you know just been kind of like chilling uh waiting for that game you know with pickups unite uh you know but the shots might have went cold and stuff like that they haven't actually been practicing or they haven't actually been playing together or anything like that so you know pickups unite definitely could probably be the stronger team out of both teams in my opinion yep certainly could happen here we're having now sit p1 with the bow in hand aiming down sight. he's in a very good power position but you think that ideally he would be up at s3 i think he was trying to make moves towards that there mm. but he was shut down by toho right there who was able to push right on to the hill now this flex is able to get the third kill for himself two players from resist are able to hold it down for this scrap time and now we're seeing what we didn't see earlier not many teams push through p1 to try and get spawns unfortunately colgate was there to shut them down but jake is here as the second barrier of defense for the spawns on maps here as they move into hill number two jake shuts down to hole one player sitting bottom orange not able to connect with those shots be lucky he's going to get the two piece before falling oh yeah, no he's nice. not before falling before double jumping to the hill my mistake <laughs> And then, um, you know, we hopping on with Niall anyway, he's actually pushed a back spawn, so it does mean that, you know, Resist still yet to have back spawns by the looks of it. They are going to be pushing back and probably gaining back spawns as well anytime soon. Uh, oh no, Carl actually, you know, pushing straight forward, able to take down uh, Youth so, so, you know, still back spawns in control by Unite. And they are looking, still looking very, very dominant, still getting very aggressive inside this hill, but Resist fighting back, putting a lot of pressure on, uh, on Unite. You know, it did look like well, and I did feel as well that United were probably going to be able to take this, but had, you know, Rice is putting up a mean fight. That he is. Now we're seeing Insight in the hard point, trying to hold it down for a squad, but he's in here alone, only able to get the two piece and not connect with the third kill. Flex and Ufo, Ufo are going to come into the hill next, and Flex sitting here uncontested for the first ten or so seconds. First gunfight goes down, but he's able to stay alive. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I like. I, I don't know what's happened with you know you know from going into the hard point on bylaw from going into this game you know i don't know what's happening you know i would say that there is quite a few times when you know that rotation is pretty sloppy and stuff like that but if they start you know rotating earlier on which you know they did do on the first hill this, this second hill they didn't rotate um but you know if they start rotating earlier on if they start you know staying up just a bit more and um, you know then they'll be able to take this but obviously you know, considering that, you know, resist our, our Spanish team, you know, there, there might be connection issues yet again with United. All right, it's going to be two players falling in the old hard point. Scrap time going to the Spanish team, resist. As the rotation comes in here to top hill, three players coming through maps that make that four, but the fourth player is going to fall as Flex gets the two piece. Insight in a very powerful position here with that battle in hand, trying to put some shots down long range. Beautiful Semtex coming in to blow up the car and take out Lucky. That's going to be Toho following in behind him, but he's also going to drop. And really, all of Resist is just dropping like flies to try and push into this new hill. Uh, it doesn't really look like Pickups United is getting too much time on the hill until just now, but uh, it was a very, a very poor attempt at a push coming from maps. Yeah, and I mean, you know, by the looks of it as well, you know, United starting to actually gain a bit of time inside this hill. Uh, I'm actually going to be on with Jake Knight. Colgate is going to be sitting inside this hill alongside with Insight as well. Uh, both Insight and Jake have pushed out as they have realized that they are going to be coming from map side. Uh, Jake getting some bullets inside the two players there, able to pick up you, so, uh, you know, but, you know, again, just kind of, you know, agreeing with what you're saying, just resist, just, just dropping like flies, just unite. Now, all four players going on the rotation. However, only one was able to make it. That's Insight. Wins the initial gunfight with oh, with Flex. I was going to say Jake, but that was Flex that actually went down. And now Lucky's going to come right through to take him out as well for his second kill on Colgate. Just letting his teammate milk that time. That's going to be UFO. UFO now left alone in the hill. He's going to be taken out by both by, by Niles two piece. Insight coming in as well. He's able to stay alive, putting some shots on balcony as he's going to be in two different gunfights here. He's able to come out on top on one of them. So much support here for Insight. 
Yeah, I mean, literally, you know, like, on, only a few points in it, but, you know, by the looks of it, Unite pulling themselves back into the lead. They are going to just eventually take the lead as of now, uh, as Tony trying to push inside this hill. But, you know, how many teammates pushing in, able to get control of the hill yet again. So by the looks of it, the last few seconds on side, uh, inside of this hill is going to go to uh, resist. And, you know, what a game it has been so far. You know, I would have to, I would have to say for the first half anyway, you know, Unite did... You know, it didn't look like it was going to go that way. It didn't look like, you know, they were going to have a good game. It looked as if, you know, they are probably going to, you know, get smashed. Um, but, you know, Resist, you know, like, I don't even know what's happening. You know, Resist kind of, like, taking the foot off of the pedal a bit more. Or, you know, United have just kind of been like, all right, well, you know, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. We need to capitalize, you know, at these certain moments. And they've started to just play a hundred times better. Yeah, for me, the way I'm looking at it is that uh, the main thing that was keeping Resist in the lead was the strong battle coming from Be Lucky and UFO. We've really seen them dominating a lot of players, but uh, on the last maybe two or three hard points, we've really seen Nile and Insight come to life with their battle, which is, I think, the big deciding factor. And that's something that we saw in the retreat hard point in the last series, but that, that was that they were struggling with their ARs. But then when we saw, you know, Biolab hard point come up, they had no problems making short work of the other team with their SMGs. So now that we're seeing Insight and Nail come to life, I think that we're going to have a much closer game coming into the second half so jake and colgate actually on the bottom of the on the bottom of the school board now which is the complete opposite as it was in the last series so pretty interesting to see that there but colgate on a three kill streak looking to make it for the, this player maps but he's gonna lose no. the gunfight that's flex that shuts him down three kills in a row going to resist yeah literally by the looks of it there's gonna be resist in control of this hill you know unite trying to fight to gain a pit of control if they can insight trying to take down one of the players from up top maps unable to take him down but literally tony pushing in able to get a nice little two piece there. flex picking up colgate as well so they are going to be in control of this hill and starting to rack up quite a few points uh, in you know in favor of themselves but by the looks of it a strong push coming in from unite taking down all four players and sporting them all the way out over at next hill so unite should definitely be able to capitalize from this gain quite a lot of time and be able to now it's flank right there on maps is something that that he should repeat right now actually with 10 seconds left it's good that he's taking this route towards cap but to, to prove my point here what the flank that he made towards map forced the enemy team to spawn out back orange and they were able to get a couple more seconds on the hill unfortunately his team did not capitalize on it the way they should have to be awarded the scrap time but regardless we're now seeing his entire team rotate over to to garage hardpoint yeah, literally looking at this, you know, resist coming out very, very strong. The kill feed literally filling up all blue, all for resist. By the looks of it, strong pushes coming in from Unite. As there's going to be a three-man push, literally. Tony able to take down and call gate. Jake able to take down Tony as well. Back and forth kills as Jake is going to be left alone inside of this hill for their pickups, Unite. But it is going to be Flex fighting back, literally back and forth kills going down inside this hill. Hill is eventually going to be in control by Unite. <coughs> Really, the story so far that we've seen is if either Insight or Nile die on the hard point, the team loses the hill. That's That's been what's happening so far. Right now, we have Nile on the hill, but if he goes down with this three-man push coming in from final hill, then it's going to spell trouble for the Unite squad. And as I said, he does go down, and now we're going to see them get the scrap time. Moving into the second to last hill, this is anyone's game at this point, but pickup squad, pickups Unite do actually have the initial time on the second to last hill and a two-piece coming in from Insight as he holds down Dirt Row with the bow. Yeah, that was a massive two-piece coming in from him as well, and that really opened up, you know, quite a lot of doors for the Unite to be able to play with, you know, and, you know, just the, like, you know, just the slam power that was coming in from them, absolutely massive, you know, they were able to just kind of set themselves up as well, give them a bit of time uh, to set up and watch every single side, but by the looks of it as well, massive amount of slam power coming in, Tony, the only player able to pick up Colgate, uh, but, you know, the whole squad from Unite literally slaying up the whole of Resist. And look, here it is. This is exactly where you want a player like Insight. Is watching that dirt road with his bow that has gotten hot towards a second rotation of hills here. All he has to do is hold these long range engagements, hope that they don't get too close, and finish them off just like that. Flex is shut down just as he gets into ASM1 range. And now their lead is climbing and climbing with a perfect setup on this hill. They're able to find themselves in a very good position to close out this match on the final hill. Now Insight getting into an even better position, sitting top class. He's watching the middle cut for anyone that spawns map side, but after getting one kill he's put down be lucky's two piece right there it's just they have just barely enough time to come back and win here they have to have a flawless next 40 seconds if they want in any hopes of coming back and winning in this game yeah that's definitely going to be hard but by the looks of it still racking up so much time ufo able to pick up nice little nice little few kills there inside of the hill 
Uh, but by the looks of it, Unite able to push oh, inside, no. able to gain some control. Yeah, and I think you, that's 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 it. Ufo's yeah. misplay right there. Ufo decided to leave the hard point, giving Nile just enough time to get in the hill and bring it. They they had they had ten seconds of error to work with, and when Ufo mm. left the hill. That that time diminished so much more quickly by the game clock itself winding down, but also the other team gaining those few seconds left. With 40 seconds left, and they had a 30 second deficit. He did he did not need to leave that hill at any point. You need to live and die on the hill at that point, and let your teammates work off spawns and come through. With so many different entrances to the hill, it's so difficult to do though, and so we're going to see them lose this map. Yeah, I mean it's heartbreaking, really. You know, from what you know, did actually look like resist, we're going to be able to you know come back and be able to clutch up and beat United in. Um, you know, obviously just one or two mistakes coming in from Resist and they weren't able to take it. But anyway, guys, it is going to be 1-0 in the favor of Unite in this loser's bracket finals. We're going to have a quick commercial break. We shall be in the next game very soon and I will see you guys in a few minutes.